हाय गाइस वेलकम टू सीजन थ्री आई एम राजेश एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड हेल्प यू विद योर फिटनेस जर्नी एज वी हैव बीन स्पीकिंग अबाउट टुडे सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट एक्सट्रीम बेसिक स्टफ विच इज विल स्टार्ट विद वार्म अप्स विल डू सूर्य नमस्कार ए एंड सूर्य नमस्कार बी फॉलोड बाय शवासन एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट एस जस्ट स्टार्ट दिस सीजन वंदे गुरुनाम चरणा रविंदे संदर्शिता स्वात्मा सुखावबोधे निश्रेय से जांगलिकायमाने संसार हाला हल मोह शांत्य आबाहु पुरुषात्कारम शंख चक्र सिदारणम सहस्रशीर्षम प्रणमाटार्ट विद वॉर्म अप हैंड्स ऑन द हिप हिप्स शोल्डर्स इन द सेम लाइन एंड स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग योर नेक clockwise and anti clockwise this is the time you start connecting with your body so do it slowly slower the movement the more information you get from that movement so make sure and whenever you feel that you are holding some kind of stress in the neck make sure that you pause and be there for some time release that stretch and start in the other direction now anti clockwise we'll do five times again make sure that you are not moving the shoulder only head is moving with the help of your neck around it okay now we'll continue with spinal wave This is a very important movement to learn articulation of spine and uh, it is going to help you with uh, flexibility as well as strength developing strength in the spine and the intention of this exercise is to learn to move articulate move one disc at a time so tuck your chin to throat and then start as if you are rolling the mat and when you are getting up then imagine that your spine is an engine and spine is a train and head is the engine of it so the way you will move your head your each and every disc is going to follow your head all right i hope i'm clear okay let's continue So as Priti said, imagine it's a, like a wave, right? The like waves of the sea. Now let's do the other way around. So start from your hips uh, and come up from your head. So when you are going down from your hips, first take the hips back, arch your back, and go one disc at a time down. And when you reach down, then you round your back and then slowly come up. so very important the wave form is important don't just go down and come up you know like uh, you do used to do your pt pt in schools right <clears throat> it has to be very wavy and should look uh, you should be able to understand how your spinal cord is rounding and stretching it's very very important yeah that's the whole soul point of this exercise to understand how your spine and torso can move in sync right yeah So now let's do the next exercise next warm up the hand rotations So here you start raising your hand and then you will feel the point of restriction there you have to slightly now turn the hand and continue with the rotation So rotate like this become aware what this hand rotation is doing to your shoulder joint try and engage the muscles 
closer to the shoulders more than uh, the extremities of your hand and because this uh, warm up is more about the shoulder and less about what you are doing with your hand okay so again we will do 10 times clockwise and 10 times anti clockwise all right so now let's start the anti clockwise oh no sorry it's the left hand so 2 3 whenever you are uh, doing this exercise also try to feel around your back so your uh, the the back of your shoulder so the when you're this is a warm up so you're opening your shoulder also yeah so you have to see that with every rotation try to see if your range of motion is increasing or at least you're challenging your, your range of motion another important point here to uh, that you need to consider is that you are not moving the shoulder backward and not taking the shoulder backward when you are taking your hand back right so your shoulders need to be in the same line okay so that is one point another is do not force yourself uh to achieve better range of motion than you have today please respect the limitation because these are warm ups so it should feel like you are opening up the body without forcing um anything on your body these movements should feel my teacher used to say that these movements should feel like a massage hope you've already started sweating and yeah one more thing uh, turn off your fans if you have done that turn off your acs your body needs heat yeah very important so you have to you, you otherwise you'll cool down while doing the warm ups and another thing that really helps with a very quick warm up is taking a shower before your exercise right rajesh yeah <laughs> one should so start with both hands now uh, we did with one hand uh, at a time now try to do the same thing with yeah and while you are doing both hands together you may realize that your range of motion is little less than one hand now we will start with both hands at a time uh, in especially in this one there are chances that you will arch your back without noticing of course but please do not do that um keep uh, keep it isolated to only shoulder movement uh keeping the spine in a neutral line you will also observe that um the range of motion is reduced and that's okay focus on your uh on your shoulders and the back side of the shoulder when you're doing this so that uh you know you will try to you will try to understand the range of motion now we'll open the hips try balancing on your legs ideally you should balance but if you're not able to balance then hold a chair or hold side of the wall yeah and try to uh, rotate so here the movement will be initiated from your knee so try to keep your knees in 90 degrees and isolate your hip flexor and the glute joints so that so that uh, you know you get that hip opening feeling here we are trying to move the leg around the hip so make sure that you don't move the hip okay it's like ball and socket movement isolate your hip and move the leg around it again we are following the same thing that you are moving the leg in clockwise and anti clockwise if you do it slowly you will understand how your hip flexors are working how your hip extensors are working at the same time you are getting to work on uh, inner and outer thigh okay now comes the knee so keep your knee static and rotate the leg 
that the part that comes after knee around the knee and that is the golden rule of warming up any joint the joint that you are trying to warm up will be static and the body part after it is going to cover the whole range of motion around the joint i hope i'm not getting too technical <laughs> the the whole point is that only keep the joint moving <laughs> apart from the joint your body should be should not move yeah articulate focus on only the joint the objective is to loosen it warm it up yeah so that you will be able to load it when we start our yoga exercises so this year we are warming up our ankle joints Now let's get into a table top. This to warm up your wrist because we are going to practice uh chaturanga and it's very important and I feel wrist is um quite ignored joint that we don't really consider even warming up but very important so um occupy as much as as much space as you can with your fingers means fingers wide open and press the wrist the palm whole palm including your fingers press them very hard on the floor and move your shoulders back and forth again i am turning my palm backward where my fingers are facing me again the same rule keep your fingers wide open press the base of your wrist press the base of your finger and the tip of your fingers and here move backward in order to stretch your wrist move around 8 to 10 times and now the back of the palm should be to the floor again open your fingers and this is a very tricky movement many of you might not even able to straighten the elbow here and that's completely okay please respect your limits and just try to straighten your elbow but those of you who can straighten the elbow try and move back and forth a little bit now the warm up is over and let's start with um, the surya namaskar okay inhale ekam arms up look between your thumbs exhale the way head in inhale three knee lift your chest up straighten your spine chaturangi exhale lower down and chaturanga drop down and arch your back pancha exhale shut take five breaths here 1 2 3 4 5 Sapta inhale step forward arch your back straighten your spine ashtau exhale head in nava inhale arms up look between your thumbs exhale samasthitihi inhale ekam look between your thumbs dwe exhale forward bend try to touch and crush your palms trini inhale chatwari get into chaturanga dandasan pancha inhale upward dog shut exhale downward dog let's stay here for 5 one 2 3 4 5 step forward sapta ashtau head to knee Nava, look between thumbs. Exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, Ekam. Now only with the count and the breath. Exhale, Dwe. Three knee, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. Hold for five breaths here. Rhythmic breath. not forcing or changing anything keep your shoulders stable head relaxed tailbone pushed towards ceiling crush your heels to the floor sapta inhale 
अष्ट एक्जेल नवा इनहेल एक्जेल समस्थित ही इनहेल एकम द्वे क्रश पाम्स टू फ्लोर इफ पॉसिबल त्रीनी इनहेल गेरेंडु चतुरंगा अपवर्ड डॉग downward dog and stay for 5 here try to crush your heels to the floor it's going to be very hard for beginners if your body is stiff and not flexible but you have to get there one day so uh, be very very articulate of your heel let it go towards the floor now inhale come forward exhale head to knee now all look between your thumbs समस्थिति फिफ्थ वन इनहेल एकम एक्सेल द्वे त्रीनी इनहेल स्ट्रेट इन योर स्पाइन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चतवारी एक्सेल इनहेल पंचा एक्सेल शट होल दिस फॉर फाइव ब्रेथ्स आई थिंक डाउनवर्ड डॉग अदो मुख श्वान आसन इज द होम पोजिशन ऑफ Ashtanga, and if you are not able to do this, if you have to choose between straightening your leg or straightening your spine, please choose your spine. Bend your knee. That's totally okay. Okay. Inhale, Sapta, step forward. Exhale, Ashtau. Inhale, Nava. Exhale, Samasthiti. Now, Surya Namaskar B. Get into Utkatasan. Exhale, Dwe. Head to knee. Three knee. Look up. Straighten your spine. Chaturvari. Get into Chaturad. Chaturanga Dandasan. Pancha. Upward dog. Shut. Downward dog. Now take your right leg between your hands and get into Virabhadrasan A. Look between your thumb. Get back to Chaturanga. Again, upward dog, downward dog. <clears throat> Now, left leg between your palms. Veer Badrasan A. This is this is tough, so maintain. Go back to Chaturanga. Upward, downward. Now we'll stay here for five counts. One. Two, three, four, five. Step forward, spine straight. Look up, head to knee. Get back to Utkatasan and Samasthiti. Inhale, Ekam. Utkatasan. Look between your thumbs. Exhale, Dwe. Head in, three knee inhale, look up. Chaturvari exhale, lower down your body. Inhale, pancha, urdhva mukha swanasan. Shut exhale, adho mukha swanasan. Sapta right leg forward, vir bhadrasan. Exhale, ashtau chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, adho mukha. एकादशा लेफ्ट लेग फॉरवर्ड वीरभद्रासन एक्जेल द्वादशा चतुरंगा त्रयोदशा ऊर्धवमुख चतुर्दशा अधोमुख होल दिस फॉर फाइव ब्रेथ्स स्पाइन स्ट्रेट हेड रिलैक्स्ड शोल्डर्स एक्टिव एंड स्टेबल प्रेस द फ्लोर विथ योर पाम like really push it keep your spine shoulder back active panchadasha step forward shodasha head in saptadasha utkatasan arms up knee bent samasthiti last one best one get into utkatasan dwe head to knee trini look up spine straight chatwari chaturanga dandasan pancha upward dog shut downward dog sapta right leg forward virabhadrasan a 
अष्टौ गेट बैक टू चतुरंगा नवा अपवर्ड दशा डाउनवर्ड नाव एकादशा लेफ्ट लेग बिटवीन योर पाम्स अगेन वीरभद्रासने द्वादशा गेट टू चतुरंगा त्रयोदशा अपवर्ड डॉग चतुर्दशा डाउनवर्ड डॉग स्टे फॉर फाइव ब्रेथ्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव स्टेप फॉरवर्ड हेड टू नी गेट बैक टू उत्कटासन समस्थिति नाउ here we come to the end of the practice just lie down get into shavasan let loose make sure nothing is active now try and visualize your body starting from your toes and feel they are getting relaxed visualize your legs knees thighs your waist and glutes if at all you are holding anything any kind of physical stress or emotion let loose release it from your body now visualize your stomach chest shoulders neck visualize your chin your cheeks forehead and head see if you are sho- holding any kind of stress emotional or physical let it release from your body visualize your arms your hands palms all your fingers fingertips nails imagine all are getting relaxed as you will feel more relaxed your breath is likely to become shorter and thinner and that's okay now bring your awareness back to the body and slowly move your toes move fingers turn to your right side take your own time to get back to a comfortable sitting position now join your hands for closing prayer oh swasti prajabhya paripaliyantam nyaye na marge na mahim mahisha go brahmane bhya shubhamastu nityam लोका समस्त सुखी नो शांति 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 रब योर पाम्स यू कैन पुट देम ऑन योर फेस पुट देम ऑन योर आई या फील फ्रेश या सो हाउ वॉज इट गाइज आई होप इट वॉज बेटर देन द फर्स्ट टू सीजन बिकॉज वी आर प्रीति इयर सो stay tuned tomorrow this new set of exercises is coming up and you will have much more fun than what we had today try to have your warm ups done and uh, yeah see you tomorrow bye bye